Hello everyone, Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts, and welcome back to another D stash video. This one does not have a specific lot number because it's all like just one item. Like it's just some just gonna have this one listed as just, you know, um, I don't know, large stamp D stash or something along that line. You'll see it obviously in the title. So anyway, so this is a medium um oops, can make sure my address isn't showing because I'm reusing a box. This is a medium um, flat rate priority box. And this is stuffed to the brim with a bunch of different stamps from a ton of main, uh, a ton of, um, you know, mainstream name brand places. There are some that have been gently used and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, kind of pull everything out and then put it off to the side. Then I'll stick it back in there once I'm done. Because I like to run my D-stashes by letting you see what all is in here instead of just, you know, saying oh it's this box full of stamps because I like to know what I'm getting unless it's a mystery box or something of course so I'm going to pull this off to the side and I'm just going to kind of grab these so I will let you know which ones have been gently used now I do want to note now none of the prima doll stamps none of these have ever been used and the reason they are open like this and there's a little bit of tape on the back is because I at one time thought it'd be a fantastic idea to store my stamps in binders <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So that's why this is on the back because I just had them taped to cardstock in a binder and I cut the open the top off the packaging so I could easily pull in here and grab these to use them. But like I said, I've I've never used these. You can they're brand new. So I have um and these are the original one, like the first set that came out. So I have this one and I'll show you. I mean hopefully you guys trust me, but on the premium on these ones here I'll show you. These are all brand new. I just never really knew how to use these in my crafting projects. Oh, so you know what? I fibbed. I did stamp this one, so I'm glad I showed you. I did stamp on that one um, one time, and oh, I think I was testing it out to see if it would fit in an art journal or something. So, so this one has been gently used. Not that that matters, but I do. You know, I didn't think I did. So yeah, this one is new. I'm not gonna do it with all of them, so it'll be like almost a half hour video. But the Primo ones, I'll just show you those real quick. And this one here is new as well. So I just didn't really know how to use these in my type of crafting, but they're they're great. And I I don't know how many years ago these came out from Julie Nutting, but if I've never used them except for that one stamping on, I think it was this one, I'm not gonna. So it's time to pass them on to somebody else who would get some use out of them. Okay, um, I have some Fiskars here. Uh, I'll try to make this video fairly quick. These, I believe, are also brand new. Not that probably matters to you guys. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've ever used these. I can look real quick here on the back. I believe. Yeah, these are all brand new. This is, you know, lots of these stamps are from Abby's crazy <laughs> shopping binges and whatnot. So this is a really cute one. Um, you know, these kinds of stamps, you know, they're, they're not cheap to buy these new. You know, like not like um, from a D stash or whatever, but like I got these from I think Joann's. But anyway, so there are this is like a wedding theme, and this is like a new home theme. There are those stamps. Um, these have been gently used. I think I only used two. I just used the banner and then the one that says "Hey you." This is from My Mind's Eye. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, again with the, the stickers and the packaging being opened because it was in the binders so and this is from I can't see because it's upside down kind of but this is also brand new hopefully it's, the lighting looks weird okay I guess you can see it. it's just the angle of the viewfinder for me so there's that one these are let me grab the I think I have another one of the close to my heart in here I think I thought I did maybe I don't or not close to my heart this is stamping up so this is brand new hasn't even been cut apart the um, stamps this is jingle all the way so some Christmas ones might be too late to you know get cards out this year but you definitely can for next year oh these are the ones I'm thinking of I know I have more than one of these in here just to kind of do them together I just kind of stuffed everything in here because I wanted to make sure it was gonna fit in this box because I'm trying to use the least shipping um, option that I can, but I do have to make sure they, and I want, I don't want to mail these in a bubble envelope because I just don't want things to get bent and all that kind of stuff. So this is from Close to My Heart. This is um, Enjoy. I don't know if these are retired or not. I bought these um, at a craft thing, and so some of them were used already. I never actually used it, but they've been gently used. I mean, you know, stamps, obviously we can keep reusing them over and over. Um, same thing with this one. This is Evergreen. I did not use this stamp set. I bought it 
um, from a, a lady at a crop it looks like she used um, at least that one what is that image I don't know what that is I don't know anyway so there's that there's that one and then we have um, this is brand new indigo this is from pink paisley it's like a boho style and same thing with this one doodlebug design this is brand new never been used um, this one is Hampton art this is like a travel theme I actually have a two of these so I don't need two so this is one I do like that one I got a bunch of small so I'll do at the very end um, this one here again this was open just because I had it in my binder but I've never used this stamp set this is my mind's eye it's a really cute little girl set I've had that one for a while uh, this was from a design team actually years ago this is paper smooches and I did use a few of the stamps not all and they were only used once for a specific design team project um, and these are from Simon Says Stamp and this is a Christmas one looks like it's only been used on the mittens in this one so again I never used it I got that and I bought it um, as a D-stash too same with this one here or as far as like the packaging and stuff uh, this is from Technique Tuesday it's an oldie but a giddy way back in my um, scrapbooking days now these are Hampton Art I did get these I believe at Tuesday morning no I don't remember where I got these to be honest with you I've had them for a while I don't remember but they are all different but they are Hampton art and so these have not been used and you can kind of see these are what they marked it as coloring clear stamp so you can stamp this image and then do like the coloring you can do that with any stamps so I'm not really sure why they this is marked as that but maybe because it's got so much detail I'm guessing so Anyway, I'm trying not to go super fast because I know you want to see them, but I also don't want to make this too super long either, so I apologize. You can also slow the video down a little bit if it looks like it's going too quick for you. So um, these, this is from a company I used to design for, oh my goodness, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, I think. Um, Pink Persimmon. I don't even know if they're still in business anymore. I have all the other ones that I got um, from a design team, but this is one I only used the one time for a specific design team project. I just don't craft it with dog stuff. Um, if it was dots, then I'd keep it because that's what I have, but you can see I just used, looks like I used these three right here. And these are like little outfits, like little for little coats that you can put on the dog like this here. So these items here are, you can stamp those on top of the dog and you can make little outfits and you can color them or use colored ink or your markers that kind of stuff it was a fun set i just haven't used it since then this is brand new and um, this is a really fun one i just never i never used like i thought i would it's kind of like a girl's night you know mani petty kind of girl's night and that type of thing really fun stamp here's another one from my mind's eye it kind of goes with the other one i showed you yes here i bought these together so it's like marketed as a boy and a girl i didn't use this but i did pop it i did cut the top off i think i was going to and i never did so there's like a boy nikki's for girl too it's just the colors pink and blue whatever so there's that um here are arts this is brand new and I always say you can never have enough sentiment stamps, but as I was going through my massive cart of stamps, I have a lot of these repeated in other multiple stamp sets. And so I thought, okay, I need to try to clear out some of it. I do love this. Um, you know, this, again, this wasn't cheap to buy brand new either. I think I got this at Michael's when I was in Florida. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, so this is all brand new. And so this is a great great stamp set to have especially if you're looking to build your stamp stash if you're a fairly new crafter whether you do cards scrapbooking journals I mean stamp and journals and stuff too so this was also a design team project I don't remember the company because I got rid of the packaging a long time ago but this is I'm not sure the best way to show this so you could see um let me grab this let me grab this book here so, and this was only used once for a specific design team project, but it's like, it's like athletic, um, healthy theme. It's got a scale, the boxing gloves, dumbbells. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's, yeah, like a water bottle, just stuff like that. I think there's a towel, this, yeah, a towel, uh, measuring tape. And what is the, what do the stamp words say? Um, let's see here. I got to hold it up so I can even see. Oh, it says like measure on keep strong stuff like that encouraging um you know for weight loss and fitness and that kind of stuff so there's that and this is just a random one it says inspired ink this must be something i bought from a d stash as well 
let me pull this paper up here so you guys can see these I don't have packaging but this I've never used this and it looks to me like it's never been used so there's that one almost looks like um, Instagram or Instastax type of um, branding and then here we have some my mind's eye got two packs again these have never been used but sorry the packaging is kind of ugly because of me sticking them in there and, and cutting the top open I don't know why I thought that was such a good idea for me. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it because I did. It, it was a system that didn't work for me. I know it probably does for others. But anyway, so these are really cute. All right. And now these stamps here, these are things I have I bought from HSN or QVC years and years ago. These are in just some clear pencil pouches. I saw Timmy years and years ago. I'm talking like 10 years or more that he um, was storing his stamps and stuff like this. And so that's why I adopted that system. I Through the years, I think like with all of us, we've had different systems for our stamp storage. But these, I believe, have never been used. Yeah, these have never been used. And these are the stamps that are in there. I went ahead and cut them apart when I first got them just to kind of organize them, but I've never used any of those. So there, those are included. Now these are something I bought from, I think Walmart years ago. Um, and this is what the stamps are. They're alpha stamps, they're foam. It's a great font, but again, I have a lot of alpha stamps and whatnot. So these have been used. You can tell there's different inks or, you know, inks and stuff on there, paints and stuff. I used it for a lot of scrapbooking of my son's different football teams so those are in there and they're all like really thick acry uh, acrylic little block things and so these are foam stamps of alphabet put this book down okay Getting to the biggest one on the bottom this is another one um this is Fiskars. again these kind are not cheap as you know if you are a stamp person for all your crafting um anyway so this is what is in this stamp set brand new Fiskars like I said it's never even been opened I didn't even take them out or anything so these are also great for building your stash for um, sentiments and whatnot okay kind of go through these a little quicker these smaller ones um this is a Heidi swap this is brand new you can pause the video if I guess if you want to look at them and again these are I think these are like recollections these ones not that you probably care about where they came from but i'm trying to remember but again it was in a notebook so the top's cut off this one i never used there's a butterfly um same thing here little tickets with different words you can put inside the ticket if you want to because the frame comes out this one is from fancy pants it says summer soul never use that one this one i did this was this is from um i can't remember but this was a design team um stamp set that I use so it's I used it once with archival ink I, mean, I actually I think I made a couple different birthday cards for my design team project but you know it's still you can still use it so this is what I was talking about I cut these down but I had my stamps when I was trying to do that storage system I just did a tape runner to the back and I had cardstock cut to the size of the um, album so I just left these on there just because I just did I should have the other ones I guess too but this is one I never used this one this is from I don't remember it's kind of yellowy looking but it's it's never been used it's just the acrylic the on the older acrylic stamps kind of yellows but the stamps are still just fine um, here's this one another one that's never been used used oops you are awesome same thing same thing here with another butterfly so I got those this uh, here says it's your special day happy birthday with love on your birthday I've never used these oops, sorry can't really see those there's that um, no more Heidi swap brand new package never use those uh, let's see here I think I got these from Dollar Tree when they first came out and this is like a um, succulent, you know, cactuses and that kind of stuff. Another Heidi Swap, brand new. This is, um, yeah, just a pack of brand new clear stamps from Heidi Swap. You can use it for planners if you want to. And then here's another Dollar Tree one. These, this is like a birthday theme. Brand new. Almost there, guys. Almost there. It's a lot of stamps. Uh, this one here I left in the paper because it's small. Uh, this is from Technique Tuesday. This is another oldie but goodie. I never used that one. I think I got it at a convention or something in a, a swag bag or something. This one is a Halloween one. I don't remember who this is from. I don't even know why I have this because I really don't um, do Halloween. I just, because my kids are older. I mean, that's, there's no like religious reason why or anything. I just, you know, my kids are older now. So, but anyway, so this is a fun one for Halloween. It's got some bats and the pumpkins and the skeleton, that kind of stuff. And I think I did use it a couple times in a journal I made it like I used it in one project so there's that one 
another is that a different happy birthday no it's the same happy birthday from dollar tree brand new uh, another recollections flower brand new on that one this is from maya road i used three of the stamps on here four excuse me the heart this one five i used the two hearts and these two and then that one right there so but again you know stamps are meant to be reused but these are all new so Maya Road really good stamp company uh, this was um, one I got from a stash I think and it came in the CD pack uh, the CD case like this I never used it but looks like they used the prior person used it a couple times so there's that another Technique Tuesday same situation I didn't use it but it looks like it's been used a couple times by the prior owner uh, this is from did I show you this one no I it was a different flowers I think so here's another flower one this has never been used either so there's that one and we're almost there it's got a little stack of some smalls here left make sure you get them all out of the box and again I apologize for the ugly cardstock stuck to the back I it's just that's just what I did at the time so these are brand new as well I don't remember the companies for these but these are brand new just, and you can peel the cardstock off the back if you don't like that. I tried on these, but I didn't on the others. A um, couple more stamps. Again, new on those. Um, this is another one, a little Christmas one, some trees. Uh, best of luck, friend. Hello, little house. This is Tis a Season, another Christmas. I think I used that one on some cards a couple of years ago. Here's a birthday one, or so. Well, it says to and from. You can use it for birthday, and you can use this for something else if you want. Uh, this is Michael's, I believe. You never told for a cupcake. I use this one on a couple cards. It was a fun stamp. This is another Dollar Tree one. A happy birthday, brand new. Uh, this is from Close to My Heart Petite Stamps. I never use these. Um, I think I got those at convention or some kind of a get together some girlfriends that were you know getting rid and swapping different stamps and stuff so those are brand new uh this one here this was a really fun one i did use this one um i believe uh, a couple times cane company this one says and it's love can do magic to a heart maybe i didn't use this stamp no i never used this one i'm looking at my purple writing on the back when i wrote what it was so this is brand new from cane company just a small tiny one and then this is great like for you know mixed media little ATCs that kind of stuff that smaller size and then last but not least is a magnolia stamp I never use this I got this as a freebie when I bought some other stuff it's a little um, uh, candy cane it's very cute and sweet but I have quite a bit of Christmas stamps and stuff so all those stamps are gonna fit in this priority box and this is um this is when i just checked out on there it's 14.35 for shipping um with that priority box medium um box and i like i said i wanted to protect the stamps as much as i possibly could so i didn't want to ship them in um bubble envelopes or anything and i wanted to do just one big massive stamp d stash instead of a bunch of little piles i just kind of want to get these out of here so great stamps you can use them for all different kinds of seasons and occasions you can buy these send them out as happy mails to friends you can buy them and sell off the prima ones on your own if you want to that kind of thing whatever it is you want to do with them because they will be yours you can gift them you can use them for giveaways that kind of stuff so with shipping included i'm asking 50 dollars shipped us if anybody international is interested let me know um, if you're first in line and then um, we'll work out the shipping because it's going to depend of course on where you live and then um otherwise it's going to be 50 dollars shipped us and then the way to get a hold of me if you're interested in purchasing this lot and i'll put this information across the screen as i'm talking as well as in the description box below is I need to have you go ahead and send me an email to purplecottagecrafts at gmail.com and in the subject line because there is no lot number for this one please just put stamp d stash that way I know that you're interested in this one and not the other tons of other videos I'm going to be have already uploaded and some that I'm still going to be uploading and then in the body of the email please include your PayPal information like clearly state that so I know what that's your PayPal information and then also your shipping address so I have that information ready to go and then what I will do is once I get that info from you I will generate an email um, from my PayPal and then or excuse me generate an invoice from my PayPal and then once that 
leaves my account, that starts the 24 hour time period for you to get back to me and to pay the invoice. So um, I'm putting a time limit on it just because I um, want to be fair and give the you know whoever the buyer at first in line is um, a little bit of time to keep an eye on their you know their email or their PayPal account um, because I know we all live in different time zones. But then I also need to cap it so I can move on to the next person because I need to get these desashes out of my craft room. And um, so if and then once uh, let's see here, da, 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 paying 24 hours or I'm going to move on to the next person in line. And once the slot has been sold, I will come back and update this video in the sub the title line. So it's very it's so it's obvious when you see the video title that it's been sold already okay so that's it everybody this was longer than i anticipated i'm sorry but i just think it's fair to show you all the stamps and point at which ones have been gently used and which ones are new that kind of thing um this is i think a really great deal i mean i <laughs> some of these stamps especially the fiskers ones when they're brand new these larger ones these are really expensive um, brand new and the Prima ones too. I mean, a lot of there's a lot of really good brands. So I think it's a really fair price for this huge, massive pile of stamps, and um, and it also includes shipping if you're in the U.S. So if you're interested, go ahead and send me that email, and then we will go from there. So check the description box. Sorry, I left my phone on. Go ahead and check the description box um, for any um, additional information, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for sticking with me for oh my goodness, almost 22 minutes. Bye guys. See you soon.